I really thought that we had put this topic to rest, but it keeps heating up. So the Logan Paul Dylan Danis fight is still upcoming in October, but it might not happen anymore because Nina Ogdal this whole time has not been sitting by mm -hmm. while her reputation is dragged through the mud. She has filed a lawsuit against Dylan Danis for humiliation, emotional distress, and reputational harm because he keeps posting photos of her with other men than her fiance. And I mean, I, I don't really know how this breaks the law in any way, but she claims He that did post an uncensored <laughs> photo of her, I guess, with I, a- I didn't I see find this it. at all. I think he probably deleted it. Believe it. I, no, they made his, uh, the, the company that's sponsoring the fight made him delete it. Really? Yes. Uh, I looked okay. extensively. Don't worry. I did my due diligence. I looked for the, for the uncensored photo. Sadly, I couldn't there find it, but I put other... in the work. Uh, there are a lot of other explicit photos yeah. of her that he's posted in addition to that one. But she says that it was uh, criminal that he's he posted that. He posted it twice to his Twitter account and he had to take it down. Um, Danis posted the photograph entirely uncensored from his Twitter account without plaintiff's consent. Later that day, Danis reposted the explicit photograph in order to maximize the number of views it would receive. And in response, she's also filed a restraining order against him. Um, I'm not sure when he would have gotten the opportunity to be in her vicinity anyway. I love the idea. I like the idea of but, him following her. I'm like, see this photo of you? See yeah. this photo of you? See this photo of you? He is effectively doing that yeah. through the internet. Yeah. So where do you get the photos? They're all publicly available images, which is why this is more confusing. Yep. So it's she's giving, mad that he's yeah. sharing images that she had already posted or something? Yeah. Yeah. This or, is or paparazzi a, photos from other uh, from the past. This feels like a fever dream now, but it's giving Eliza Blue. Yes. Is this like a is this like one of those body count situations where she just doesn't like being confronted with her past relationships? Basically, yes. I mean, hmm. he also she, says that <laughs> she says that she leaked the information to TMZ. His quote is, "This clout whore yeah. sent the details to TMZ, exposing her true character." He also tweeted yesterday, "Nina Agdal has filed a massive lawsuit against me." filed a restraining order against me and is seeking prison time. So prison the fight time. is in jeopardy if I'm in jail. <laughs> this is actually wild, but I won't stop. F the system, come get me. <laughs> Logan Paul is a dead man walking. F the system, man. But so seriously, if if the fight does get called off, Logan still loses. Well, because he's clearly with this girl who sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the Where's the photo? Mary was pointing this this photo of um of Logan and, and Nina. Mar uh, but if you can't face your own past, like that's on you. Look at this photo where he's like trying to kiss her and she's pushing his face away. Like she clearly isn't even in that into him. That's really gross. That's really a shame. You know, and she <laughs> made and she made him wait. And she made him wait. I it was like two weeks. That's what well, they said in the podcast. They, they waited two weeks and Logan Paul thought like, that's a long time. Wait, they waited wait. two weeks after they started dating to have sex? I, I, Is that it might have been after they met. No. But wait, wait, what? <laughs> at, two uh, weeks? Supposedly after they started dating, it was only a matter of weeks before they had sex. But to Logan Paul, that was like, he was aghast at that. Like, I've never waited that long. Like, he thought it was weird. I think it's, I think that attitude is weird. Mm. I do too. Um, but I mean, clearly based on her past, she's not been the type of woman who waits that even that so long. So she like meets you and then before. she's like, let's go. So she made an exception for him and now everyone's calling him a cuck for it because she she's is, belongs okay. to the streets. You guys are, wow. uh, <laughs> you, you ladies tell me, is this, is this something that if, if she meets this guy and she feels she has real feelings for him that she would make him Wait, because so, she has feelings for him? We don't know if that's the case. But I'm, I'm, I'm just asking for a I've woman's seen perspective some of this. this. Okay, so I went down like a rabbit hole recently <laughs> into all of this, this stuff where women are like, I slept with 500,000 guys and now my fiance thinks I'm gross or whatever. <laughs> and yeah, and there's, just, there's just and boils so, on her vagina at that uh, point. Uh, this is the, anyway, <laughs> that's horrifying. But the... Uh, what I don't understand is this attitude where it's like, well, those guys didn't matter, so I slept with them right away. So I gave them what they wanted. But you do matter, so I'm going to like invest in this relationship. But like, if you're not right. invested in your own self-worth, why would anybody else treat you with any yeah. kind of respect at all? That just seems so weird. That just seems really bizarre. Yeah. I and think the worst thing that Dylan Dan has posted of her was that video where she was talking about, uh, here's what 
her her court document described it as uh, a video of her from more than six years ago where she talked about her desire for intimacy during a period of celibacy. It was a lot more explicit than that, but basically she was saying she was like struggling and, and losing her sanity oh, babe, I saw that. I because saw that. she hadn't had sex for the longest time Here we since go. she started. In case the people haven't seen Might have been a week. Here we go. Here's a, In case Yikes. people haven't seen Yikes. this video, here it is. By the way, I'm very proud of myself. This is the longest I've ever gone without sex since I started. Obviously, it's driving me crazy. Obviously. <laughs> I am struggling. I need penis inside of me. ASAP. Like, all I want is like a big fat sausage just destroying my body. So, if any of you guys know a good dick that doesn't have <laughs> STDs on it, I'll take it right here. But so she's claiming that Dylan Danis hacked her Snapchat to get into her Snapchat archive and post this video. Did it, she post it herself? She posted it herself. It likely was submitted to him through uh, some friend of hers who saved this. Yep. Um, it would be kind of crazy if he went to the length of, of hacking her social media to get Dylan this video. Dylan Danis does not look like a hacker to me. No. No, no, no. None of the yellow sunglasses and slick back hair like a 90s hacker would have. <laughs> Um, yeah, and it's just... Well, if it isn't, the consequences of my own actions. Well, you know. Back again. Back <laughs> again to take me down. Western women. I'm, it's a joke. So, it's a joke. I mean, what mostly peaceful Latinas were talking about, um, it still stands, in my opinion. Like, there are guys who date hoes, marry hoes, and they know that they're doing it, but sometimes they just see the trade-off as worth it because... She is uh, probably really good looking. She's extroverted. She's nice and pleasant to be around because she's, you know, interacted with so many men. The hoes often know how to make a man feel special. That's what they said. They're not special and enough I, to make him stay around. I, I mean, sometimes they do, though. That's the their point, at least. I see. And that's supposedly why Logan Paul looked past the fact that she's been with so many guys including high profile celebrities and gave a ring on her finger um because he thought the trade-off was worth it at this point he might be reconsidering um but his only option at this point is you know you either break off the engagement or you you stand for the girl you defend the girl and you go into the fight and you win the fight that's the only option you either There's need to two, like two ways you can save her that. honor with your but you can't blood. do an underhanded yeah. like emotional distress lawsuit over stuff that is getting posted that you can find on google images like yeah that's, that's that makes that's you seem pathetic weak. especially if the fight gets called off because of it it also makes him seem weak that she's doing all of this lawfare stuff yeah, yeah. he's like don't do that i'll take care of it and he should be saying i'll take care of it when we get in the ring Right. Or, you know, right. I mean, I think I think for sure redemption is a thing. And so, you know, if you've had a lifestyle like this, I think you can, you know, she repent did. and be redeemed and all that kind of stuff. I believe that that's true. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't seem like that's what they're doing here. She's uh, I, I mean, it does feel in a lot of ways like e even if that's true, like she it does feel like he's kind of like she she feels like she's settling for him. And, uh, and oh, that's you don't want to be with a lady who's settling for you. Yeah. Yeah. I like, saw this tweet the other day that said, if you're single and don't want to be single, you need to either in, uh, increase your value or lower your standards. If you do either one of these things, you're not going to be single anymore. Hmm. And while that might be maybe pragmatically true, no one wants to know that you're with them because you lowered your standards and stooped so low mm -hmm. to consider them as as a prospect that's insulting mm -hmm. so the positive way to go about it is is increase your value yes in other ways and become worthy of the person that you want to be with and also maybe reevaluate what you think value is yeah in the person that you're seeking to be with do you think uh, do you, you think know this like is true that um that what what happened here is the type of thing where she she lowered her standards for him so therefore she just doesn't have the respect for him that she would have for somebody else but at the same time it, is it respect to 
herself to sleep with a bunch of dudes. But what kind of standards on? do you have yeah. if you're asking your Snapchat to provide you with a large dick that has no STDs on it? <laughs> yeah. well, like, the, what are your standards there? The standard is no STDs. That's the standard. That's the standard. So yeah. are we to understand that Logan Paul has STDs? I think she's just been for a long time high on the validation that being a hot supermodel uh, with money gives yep. you and not thinking about those consequences and she also seems to be a high testosterone woman who's probably hypersexual for that reason and the cycle continues the longer you desensitize yourself to that type of behavior you're right it doesn't last and you yep. know even while yeah. she's still here in her prime of her looks and her fame it's catching up to her you have to figure out a way to keep yourself yourself entertained for your whole life, regardless of anybody else. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to like have enough going on internally. It doesn't seem like these people have that. You know what they should do? They should have uh, Nina fight Dylan Dennis's wife or, or girlfriend. <laughs> That's what they should do. They should have like a, a tag team match. Dylan Dennis's uh, girlfriend just gave birth Ruth. to their baby, so by the way. So I don't know if she is in any shape to be going in the ring in the next month. But. Disco Jensen in the chat says TLC had a song about it named Creep. Red Light Special by TLC is the greatest TLC song of all time. Don't at me. I'm just I'm just saying. I, I had to put You know what they there. need to do? Logan Paul needs to get um, Nina pregnant because you can't be mean to a pregnant lady. Oh, I, I don't think Dylan Dennis care. I don't think he cares. People think, are mean to pregnant ladies all the time. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that's going to stop him from 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 doing it's just that. especially egregious to be mean to a pregnant lady um and and so it's I, I am just kind of fascinated by the part about her making him like about the psychology of like you give it to a bunch of guys you don't respect for 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 nothing right away weird. yeah and then you're like well i like this guy so i think i'll make him wait for a period of time or is it for that some she's arbitrary herself? number of weeks yeah to you Apparently. Still barely know the person. <laughs> is, the, is the idea that like if she had done so on the first date without getting to know them, it, it ruins the ability to like find out if you like them first. Therefore, she's looking to somehow mix together both finding out you like them as a person and have that culminate in something special. Therefore, it, it increases the ability that you can pair bond. But isn't he going to know about all of these other experiences that yeah. she's had? He didn't. He certainly oh, does yeah. now. He didn't, he didn't know about it? We don't know. We don't know what he knew. But, I mean, she's a famous supermodel, and the paparazzi photos of her with people like Leonardo DiCaprio are all over the internet. Mm -hmm. There's no way that he wouldn't know. And he claims now that she's an angel who has only had long-term boyfriends her whole life, and he was the lucky guy that bagged her once and for all, and he's proud of that. Um, but I think that he was too late to the punch. Like he should have been, you know, you got to either commit to one way or the other. You leave her mm -hmm. or you defend her from the very start. But he waited and wanted to see if it would go away. And it's only getting worse and it's worse. It's just getting worse. Yeah. Which uh, just makes him seem like a bad fiance for not coming to her defense yeah. very quickly. Also, it seems like a bogus lawsuit. It is, and she also is uh, looking for unspecified damages, but wants no less than $150,000 per violation of federal law prohibiting the sharing of intimate images. She's like, look, for every line I said about wanting a large this, I want $150,000. That's what she says. Uh, to destroy not, her body. Yeah. She's Which, referring to... I think we could introduce her to bratwurst. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, you will get very fat. No, there are like a... Bratwurst. It's a weird amount of... <laughs> Photos yes. of her on the internet holding hot dogs. Like, <laughs> yes. it's weird. Like, like Obama level. Yeah. There are like a lot of images of her holding hot dogs. And I just don't understand Sorry, the, the, like, the obsession gosh. with it. Yeah, it's it's really very funny. weird. Um, but she's talking like, about revenge like Bill porn. Bill de Blasio and Obama also. Mm -hmm. Lots of hot dog pictures. She's talking about revenge porn here, right? Yeah. None of the stuff that he's posted, I think, is Amounts pornographic. To that. No, it's not. And none of it was privately shared to him or anyone else. Yep. It's all paparazzi photos, social media posts, things that were already publicly circulated. This is going to get dismissed. And then you're going to look like a Karen. I wonder if this stuff will become more prevalent to these. Because, look, between UFC 
and the large amount of like exhibition fights we're getting between like celebrities and uh, and social media influencers, if this is going to become even more common, because what this is is essentially WWE for for celebrities and influencers, right? Mm-hmm. Except for it's not. Uh, but none of it is performance. Yeah, it's real. <laughs> it's uh, so it's like the opposite yeah. of. Yeah, but it's the same level. But it's the same level of theatricality about it. So they could they could do this with all of this stuff. Like I said, they used to have the skits on WWE where they'd call Stephanie McMahon a whore, and that was like, and she had to be okay with that because that was it was a written in the script Mm -hmm. that they would write about. There's like, oh, you slept with this guy, you slept with this guy, you slept with this guy, Um, and it became part of the show. So I, I imagine that some of these guys will. Uh, use this to their advantage, especially if it's a, a guy who's traditionally masculine, feels that he's a protector. He, uh, how do you protect against a dude just being vicious on the internet? Like, Yeah, you can't really do yeah. anything about that. Yep. I think a lot of the thought process behind this, uh, Dylan Dennis and his followers reposting these images, and it's a shaming tactic, mm-hmm. is they think because women uh, as social creatures behave based on what is considered socially acceptable right now that you know if you shame this high profile celebrity woman for her past maybe a lot of women who see that happen will correct course going forward or avoid those behaviors when they see that it's publicly shamed well women it's like women were told for this whole recent period of time that their purity doesn't matter right you had like you can be a born again virgin or really right. that purity doesn't exist in the first right. place you had planned parenthood you know posting billboards and stuff about how virginity isn't even really a thing yeah uh you had all of this stuff come out and then it turns out that men do care about women's purity and then as soon as men start caring about it women care about it again after they've been told this whole time that it doesn't matter by all of the ba- major leftist well, all of those messages the- miss the point that like you should care about you should care preserving about your purity and mental yeah. health for your own sake right it of course misses that and though in though in the men are shamed for wanting the purity and the women are shamed for considering it a virtue right and then you have women who um have a uh, like rehymenization surgery before they get married. The point is women so want... So that they can say. And then there's like, I remember reading an interview about it's this. The first it was time like in time. Teen Vogue or something. And it was like, then it hurts even more when you have sex the first time again. And you're like, what is even going on? But <laughs> women, going on with this? women want affirmation and approval for their choices. It's just fundamental to, to women's nature that... Um, men are the ones who take risks and don't care as much about social approval and women care way more about receiving outside affirmation and group acceptance and if they find out that a certain behavior will get them excluded from the herd then maybe they will change their behaviors to conform to the herd well i don't see that changing but I, I think society's gone too far that direction. I think pulling But you can get is, way more yeah. temporary yeah. affirmation and approval from men by putting out. Yes. That's the, that's the key there. Nobody's, nobody's innocent in that exchange. Yeah. It, it takes two to tango, right? But it's, it's, the point is it's temporary, you yeah. know? Yep. It's at the end of the day, it's like, yes, we would love if, if men and women both valued their, uh, their chastity, right? Or their value to one another in a exactly. relationship. But it's know? just, it's not like that anymore. Maybe we need new language for it so people don't think of the word chastity and purity and think, oh, that's nerdy, that's stuffy and churchy. Or just, (laughs) yeah, I mean, or you make it sexy again, in which case then we're back to child trafficking. Ah. What Brittany Martinez of EV Magazine says is we need to make marriage sexy again. That's her point of view. How do we do that? That's like, you know, be hot, get married, post photos of it. But the happy, I, th- I thought research said that the happiest couples are the ones who don't post each other on social, are the ones who just don't post a lot on social media together. Is that proven? I, it just, there's, I mean, who knows? The study's a study, right? It could be like, you ask 10 people who you know don't post each other on social media. It's like, are you happy? Yes, that's the study, right? But it's like, I mean, it's, I can see that being a thing, right? Like if you're, if you're busy being happy with the person you're with and you're not on social media yeah. all the time. And, and let's face it, everyone has a friend or a, a, a couple of friends that are in a relationship that you've never seen not arguing, who then the next day post a photo yeah. like, where would I be without you? I'm like, you'd be somewhere not arguing. That's where you'd be. <laughs> but 
We Everyone know those knows people. That. We certainly know those people. Many such cases. Doth protest too much. Many such so. cases. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.